What's up, insiders? Deuces Jack, and I got another RDA for you for review. I'm talking about the Squid Industries King Titus, Chief King. Can this Squid Industries King Titus compete with some of the best cloud chuckers on the market right now? Make sure you watch the whole video and find out what we think. Now, I actually bought both the stainless steel and the black. I found this place, like, I think the name of it was Vapor Rider or something like that, all right? And uh, they were selling them. They had them on sale for like 20 bucks. So I was like, for 20 bucks, let me buy both of them. Maybe I'll actually like them. So, but we're going to go over the black one because I think it'll show up easier on camera. But I wanted to show you the stainless version as well. Starting off on top, we've got a goon style drip tip, Ultim, right? It's the only one that it comes with. Other goons will fit fine in there. Okay, you can see it's got a nice snug fit. Okay, check out that airflow. That airflow is kind of wacky, right? You got like side airflow over here and then like top airflow over there. Kind of weird, it really is. Pl like I said, plenty of branding. Not too crazy about that. On the bottom it says Chief King with a serial number designed by Squid Industries. On this one, I have the squonking pin installed. On the stainless steel one, I do not. Here is the barrel section, kind of like a stepped up conical design in there, right? Not bad, okay? They did a decent job on that. It is a two-piece barrel section, really, really tight, okay? Nice tolerance on the O-ring, very, very tight. You can see there's your airflow for that, like, wacky top airflow right there. And then your side airflow is right there. Now, here is the deck, right? Your side airflow is going to be going through there. But the weird thing about it is, right, when you put this back on, right, you see there's your side airflow, right? And then you got airflow coming in, I don't know, from from like where your wicks are pointed to. So that's kind of weird because it's really not giving you more flavor. It's just introducing more air into the vape. So I'm not sure why they did that. Like why didn't they put it on this side? It just kind of doesn't make sense, but, I mean, if you want more air in there, yeah, you might get clouds, but those clouds are going to be thinner, and they're going to be less flavorful. So, for the most part, I've been keeping this airflow shut when I use this, and it hasn't been bad that way. Here's the deck with the squonking pin installed. You can see the pin is raised, all right? So, that's good because it'll keep some juice on the bottom. You do see some machine marks there. Not crazy about that. And check out this deck. This deck is kind of weird, right? Because you kind of got to you kind of got to angle your coil in, right? Into there and there. And then you got to angle your coil in from here and here. Now you can fit 3 millimeter coils in here. The problem is they're going to be very very close to each other, which is really conducive to dripping down the middle. I mean, when you drip down the middle on this atomizer, you're going to hit your coils. There's no doubt about it. I'm just not you know, I just don't like having those coils so close together. I would recommend that if you are going to run dual coils in here, that you run, you know, 2.5 millimeter coils to give yourself a little bit of extra space. Now, the other thing you can do is you can put one lead in here and one lead in here and run one 4 or 5 millimeter single coil, and it does vape well like that. Or you can put one big coil and just run it on one side towards the middle. Uh, either way, it does vape very well that way. That's fine. But I do like using it as a dual coil. However, if you are going to run duals, I would really highly recommend 2.5 millimeter coil. Let me show you the coils I've been running in here, right? These are 2.5 millimeter coils. And you see how close they are? See how close they are? If you go three, they're going to be even closer. Now look, see how that airflow just, it kind of slants down and slams into the bottom of that coil? That's where you want it coil placement wise. See, see that slant right there? That's how you want it. O-ring tolerance on this is pretty nice. And I do like the big deep juice well. So I have been using this one in particular as a dripper. Because you can see my squonking pin is not installed. And man when you drip down the middle you hit those coils. So that's kind of nice. I definitely like that. These coils definitely have to be changed. They've definitely seen better days. But I've been using this build for about, oh, I don't know, a good month or so. And uh, I've been enjoying the way it vapes with this type of build in it. You can see when you drip right down the middle, 
that e-juice is going to hit that coil smack dab. So that's kind of cool. I think this thing actually excels better as a dripper than it does a squonka for that reason. In the packaging, you get two coils, two Allen keys, and some spare O-rings, as well as a squonking pin. One more last look around it, and let's go back on top. Let's get into the Squid Industries King Titus Chief King. First con's going to be, when you build this thing, three millimeter coils are going to be a little tight. I got to point that out. Not sure about that indirect airflow on top. I'm not a fan of it. I normally close it down. I don't like it at all. Like I said before, with dual coils, this one can be a little tough to build on. And I got to be honest, I'm not crazy about all the branding on the barrel. That's a little bit of a turnoff to me. Let's move on to the pros, because it's got some pros to it. First pro is going to be, if you build dual coils in this thing, it's great as a dripper, because when you drip down the middle, that juice hits those coils directly. It's actually got pretty good flavor, especially when you close down that indirect airflow. As a single coiler, it's not bad either. I got to give them a pro for that. If you rock one big single coil in it, you'll get a nice vape. The build quality on it is very good, as you would expect from anything from Squid Industries. It's actually a decent squonka, so I got to give it a pro for that as well. It's also got a nice deep juice well. That's a pro. So back to our original question at the beginning of the video. Deuces, how does this one compete with some of the cloud chuckers on the market today? I got to tell you, man, when I compare it to something like the QP Cali, all right, the, the vape is just not as thick and not as saturated, especially if you open up that indirect airflow. You'll get clouds, but they're definitely on the thin side when you run it like that. If you want thicker clouds, close down that indirect airflow. I got to say, strictly as a cloud chucker, it's very middle of the road. But I do think that it has pretty decent flavor, especially when you cut down that side airflow. Don't forget, head on over to our Facebook group. Join up right now and you'll have a chance to win a $100 coupon from Vape Wild. And that's it, insiders. That's all we got for you today. You keep living that vape life. We're out. Deuces. What's up, insiders? Deuces Jack with VapingInsider.com. Today, we're going to go over the top 10 best vape tanks on the market as of April 2019. 